All right, looks like we are live. Welcome to Fireside Chat number 153. Sorry about the uh, Miss Fireside last week. Um, to go over what we have, I think the biggest thing is the 20th anniversary coming up here on uh, June 1st, just a few days now. Today is the last day, uh, last chance to sign up for the uh, Hior thing, which is a house horror, for those of you familiar with that term. All the houses kind of competing, and basically you can challenge anybody else who's registered uh, at a game of your choice. Uh, it can be a 2v2, 3v3, 4v4, whatever you want. Just have to agree on a game, which uh, can be anything. It can be something like a writing contest, trivia contest, um, or just a game, League of Legends, uh, Destiny, World of Warships, World of Tanks. Uh, anything you want, as long as you agree to it. And it does have to be a uh, skillful game, so not like a coin flip or something like that, like referring to a literal coin flip, which people have used in the past, and I get it. It can be hard to find a game to agree on, but if you can't find a game to agree on, just cancel the challenge. Um, if you do, you know, you're busy, you can't do the challenge or whatever, just talk to the judges, and it should be okay. We can get the challenge withdrawn, or talk to the person who's challenged you, or who you you have challenged, and uh, just uh, double check if you both agree to withdraw it, then it's fine. We'll get rid of it. But it will kick off tomorrow, um, so make sure you sign up if you haven't. Last chance. And uh, as well for the anniversary, um, I am looking for any more ideas for the anniversary last minute stuff. Um, obviously, the your thing was the big thing, but. Mind doing a couple other things. Uh, Beowulf actually reached out to me about uh, making a WA themed StarCraft map. I think he was working on. Don't know uh, if that's. I haven't heard from him in a little bit, so I don't know if that is uh, going to happen or not. But that'd be cool. Um, and I think he was going to host that as kind of a cool event. But if anyone else would like to host anything specific for the anniversary, or has other ideas uh, to celebrate it, I am all ears to those. Uh, Ice Quest. Uh, I've been talking about that a bit. That's a forum based uh, RPG. I've been working on. Uh, should be releasing in time for the anniversary. I am just working on a couple things, and you can check it out in the Ice Request subforum on the forums. You can see basically everything is figured out, how combat will work and everything, the map at this point. Um, I just want to get the last few abilities figured out, spells or abilities for the classes. And uh, I have to prepare a couple more encounters for the actual game, but it should be pretty ready, pretty close to ready to go. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. Oh, so we were discussing a bit in the all thing, some uh, potential, um, just additions to rank requirements, um, more so to just get things a little bit more clear as far as the difference between each rank, because as I'm sure some people are aware, uh, some of the ranks, it really is just kind of a ladder, but the actual distinction in terms of the ranks themselves is not super clear. I put some stuff in rank requirements, but or in the ranks section of About WA, but it's not quite there. So um, I did have uh, some ideas suggested to me that I rather like that we've been talking about. I think uh, the plan would be to put more of a focus on warrant officers and ensigns, specifically being the ones in charge of doing uh, tracking. Uh, the members of a certain group probably would just divide, uh, just assign each one a house. And a lot of this is already happening, but this would really just be standardizing it. Uh, so, if, for example, a Silva is an ensign who's uh, generally doing all the review work for House Commander, which means checking they've been active and posted a roll call, contacting people who haven't, recommending any promotions or demotions, that kind of thing. Um, so having somebody specifically assigned to each group, for example, houses, um, and making that the default duty for warrant officers and ensigns. And then with that in mind, lieutenants and commanders would be in charge of those warrant officers and ensigns, and then captains and admirals would be in charge of the LTs and commanders and generally uh, in charge of uh, the whole clan as far as basically just being uh, a step down from me and sort of uh, enacting, uh, you know, my will, my rules, and also just uh, kind of running the show when I'm not. Uh, so a lot of that is kind of in rank requirements already or is already being done, like I said, but so it's not as if it's a huge change, but trying to standardize things a little bit would be nice. Uh, another idea, um, and a shout out to uh, Kanungramir for, for most of these ideas here as well. Some of them I kind of spun around a little bit, but um, I think another addition would be rather than requiring Gunner plus members to uh, be active and attend an event, 
Instead, we just require everyone to be active and have a certain an event uh, a quota. So what that means is um, if you are, say, a Marine and you attend two events, then you would be promoted to Gunner. And if you're a Gunner, you attend, let's say, three events promoted to Master Gunner. So on and so forth, and that's the metric for, for going up those lower ranks, at least, um, is, is sort of uh, attending events. Um, so it's, again, it's something that's kind of, we're kind of halfway already doing that, but it's just nice because it adds a little bit more specifics. Because that's something I always want to do is, a lot of people will ask me, how can I specifically uh, achieve this rank, or what do I specifically need to do? And it can be hard to, to, to say that, like, someone's like, I want to be an officer, what do I need to do? It's like, well... You know, you can you can kind of point people in the right direction, but having a specific uh, quota to help people rank up in the lower ranks, I think, is nice and kind of illustrates how to achieve them a little bit clearer, more, more clearly. Um, I also think it might be cool to incorporate some other similar quotas uh, for achieving whatever ranks, and that might be helping out with certain jobs or suggestions, performing duties, something like that. I think would help, and um, in good. In this vein, I would like to get the officer manual all figured out as well, because that's supposed to dictate or detail the exact training uh, you need to go through to become an officer. Um, and so finally, the last thing was the idea of, uh, in that training vein, having uh, like certain, uh, I'll use a filler or a placeholder word, uh, certifications. Um, so for example... Uh, you can be trained in how to host events, or you could be trained in how to do the review uh, process, promotions, demotions, checking activity, and everything like that. Um, so these would each just be like little things where somebody could train you how to do it, um, and maybe they quiz you for it at the end of it or something like that. And basically, you can get certified in how to do it, um, or a similar mechanism to that. I just realized I forgot to post the live link, but it's live now. And, uh, yeah, so that's something we, I think, could be a cool idea. And uh, in that, that way, for example, let's say to a chief warrant officer, you have to have these have done trained in these specific uh, areas. And uh, I think that's nice, and it, it makes things a little bit more clear and gives people individual stuff to strive for. And uh, I don't think we would, like, hold anybody back from being allowed to train any of this stuff. So even a brand-new member could train in how to host events or anything like that. Um, and rather than doing something like you have to train in hosting events in order to host events, I think it makes more sense that um, once you become an officer, you do need to know how to host events. So to become an officer, you would want you would have to do this training. But it isn't as if we'd be gatekeeping regular members from being allowed to host events. Anybody can host any event, no requirements necessary. But uh, there would be that added training if people wanted to do it. And if they wanted to become an officer, then at that point, it would become a requirement because then um, once you're an officer, you're expected to know those certain things. So uh, that was kind of my line of thinking. And I know it's kind of a few different things, different areas, but uh, I don't think anything too radical. I think uh, a lot of stuff that probably makes sense mostly from what I've been hearing, you know, thing. Uh, generally, it seems like people, uh, people support that. So uh, I believe that is about all I've got for Fireside Chat. So I think we'll just go to office hours. Uh, might not be too long here. Uh, but yeah, I'll be there if anybody has questions, wants to stop in, anything like that. Otherwise, see everybody next week.